Hello, in this video, I will help you get quickly started with Jupyter Notebook. So the Jupyter Notebook is an incredibly powerful tool for data science projects. It is an open source free application and it gives you this capability of combining uh, code, text, and graph all in one unified document which can help you uh, communicate your data science uh, results with other data scientists. And it also provides a very intuitive workflow. Uh, let me show you how to quickly get started with Jupyter Notebooks. So after you've installed uh, Anaconda, is this package uh, which contain, contains Jupyter Notebook. You just have to open Anaconda. and then launch Jupyter Notebook. And here you will see a list of the uh, directories on your uh, computer. Um, if you don't have any uh, Jupyter Notebook files already created, uh, what you can do is you can click new to create a new file, a new notebook. Here I'll just choose Python 3 because that's the most common option at this, at this point for data scientists. So uh, yeah, please notice that this is all running inside of your browser. So this is a browser based program. Okay, so now I'm in the uh, main user, phase, uh, user interface of Jupyter Notebook. And the Jupyter Notebook is uh, made of uh, a, group, a number of cells. So a cell is something like this. It's uh, like a text box where you can type in text or anything you want. So it is a fundamental unit within the Jupyter Notebook file. Uh, here it says in and then a pair of square brackets with a colon. Uh, this means that this is an input. Uh, cell so whatever you type in here for example you could type in python code so let me type in hello world and then after you finish typing your code uh, you just you just have to press Control enter Control and enter to execute the cell as, and as you could see, um, the color uh, of, of the square around the cell used to be green, and now it's in blue. That means that this cell has been executed, and it has this number one added in, in, in between the square brackets to show that, that this is the first output that's been printed uh, after you've launched this notebook. And as you can see, the output goes right below the cell in which you type the quote. So here you see hello world is printed as an output. So um, there are many different kinds of cells uh, that you can create. This is the most common one, most basic one is a code cell where you type in Python code. Um, to create a new cell, what you do is you select the current cell and you, then you press B the letter B on your keyboard to create a new cell below the current cell. So B stands for below. Okay, now you have your second cell. And um, here what you can do is um, instead of keep typing code, I'll show you what, what other uh, content you can type in uh, into a cell. So here you can choose the type of cell um, so instead of code, you can choose Markdown. So Markdown is basically, it's kind of like HTML where you can use different kind of, uh, uh, different kind of code to represent formatting for your text. So um, when you're writing, let's say when you're writing a report on your data science project using Jupyter Notebook, 
um, then you can you can type your uh, code and then followed by some explanation some description of the code uh, in, in markdown language okay so um, let me show you some of the syntax with markdown so uh, if you type a uh, uh, hashtag or pound sign followed by a space and then you can so th this will give you a level one heading in markdown and here you can type anything let's say in introduction right and then you, again to run this cell this is another cell so to run it you press Control enter and you can see that Jupyter Notebook has nicely formatted into uh, the, the, the word introduction into a level one heading so you can double click to edit the cell again and you can type here you can type a level two heading with two pound signs okay again control enter and you can see it's been nicely formatted as a level two heading so i'll keep going um, to type uh, normal body text you just have to say just keep typing um, and control enter that runs it um, if you want to make some part of the text bolded you just type two asterisks around each side of the word and then control enter and you can see the word project is in bold to make something italic you just do one asterisk on either side on each side of the word Okay, and within the markdown cell, uh, you can also type in lists. So um, the easiest way to type in a list is to use the asterisk as the uh, to in place of the bullet point in the list. So just type asterisk and say item one, item two, item three, and control enter you have this list okay and you can also uh, another way of typing a list is to use a markdown language uh, use the uh, syntax so you can either do a unordered unordered list that's ul and then list item one After you finish, after you're finished typing the item, you do a forward slash this item to close the tag. So these are just like HTML tags. So here you can type in the second item and third item. And we are finished. Uh, make sure you go back to the right indentation and then close the, close the entire list with another closing bracket closing tag and here you would type uh, here you would, uh, press control enter and you, essentially you get the same list and another way is to type in an ordered list that's the list with uh, numbers in front of each item so you type ordered list again list item one and then control enter and here you have a 
ordered list. So, what's great about using this text instead of just typing, say, one, two, three by yourself? The great thing about using the text, using the syntax, is that you don't have to worry about which, uh, you know, changing the numbers in case in the future if you go back to add another item in between, then you don't have to modify all the numbers following that item. Uh, so you just have to add it in with the text and then the numbers will be automatically rearranged for you. Okay, so, so we can keep typing more code or text below this cell. So we just have to press B and we have another cell. So here we can do, uh, we can type in any Python code that you would normally type. Okay, so as you can see, um, it gives you a output at the end. And you can also, you know, easily import any of the uh, data science packages that you would normally need in Jupyter Notebook. Okay, and uh, as you can see, um, it says there are unsaved changes in this notebook because we haven't saved it. So what we can do is uh, click File and then Save and Checkpoint. And that save the, docu uh, the document also creates a checkpoint so that you have this like list of versions of this document throughout the history. Uh, so you can easily go back to a previous version if you need to. So you can revert to the previous checkpoint you just saved to restore the document back to that stage. And you can download um, the notebook in different kind of formats, uh, such as IPy notebook, uh, HTML, um, PDF. So you can easily share this doc document uh, with others. Okay, uh, this is just a very quick introduction to Jupyter Notebook. There are still a lot of other functionalities such as uh, the command palette uh, and the, the menus, uh, which I haven't covered, uh, but uh, there's a lot for you to explore. Um, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy Jupyter Notebook. Okay, here I am on cargo.com. Uh, and this is the place uh, where people would collaborate uh, on data science projects and they will show their work to their peers and people would give suggestions and there are competitions, uh, data sets, uh, and discussion and a lot of learning going on on this website. So if you want to learn about data science, uh, this website is very necessary. Okay, so... Um, when you are on cargo.com, uh, you can click on, let's say, competitions. And here are some actual data science competitions uh, you can look at. Um, so let's just randomly click on one of them. And this is description of the competition. Um, and if you click on kernels, and you can see people's, uh, you know, the, the kind of Jupyter Notebook files that people have uploaded regarding this particular competition. So let's randomly click on one of them. Okay, so here is an example of a complete, uh, completely finished Jupyter Notebook file, which is shared on cargo.com. Um, as you can see, it has title, um, a lot of formatting with a text, uh, and then followed by Python code uh, where uh, they imported different kind of packages such as pandas, matplotlib and the code are nicely formatted and with proper uh, documentation and here are the output 
you can see the whole report is divided into sections, just like if you would type in type a report in Microsoft Word uh, or other uh, applications. But with Jupyter Notebook, you have this really nicely formatted uh, way that's best to present uh, data science projects. And here you can see uh, the graphs uh, plots are also included in the uh, in the notebook so you can see there are many different kinds of plots you can put in Jupyter notebook to communicate your results and you can tile the graphs in different ways and you can have tables of data. So you get the idea. Um, you can, so Jupyter Notebook is a very, very good way for data scientists to communicate their work. And it, it presents your work in this nice flow of information where you have code, text, and graph uh, showing up uh, one after another. Um, so it gives you this nice flow of information for the readers. Okay, I hope you enjoy uh, learning and using Jupyter Notebook. Thank you.